This is the pump brush, part of the Nicholas Lodge collection. Uh, pump brush is very useful for using with luster dust. I only use this actually for two products. That is going to be using it with super pearl dust and I use it also with white sparkle dust. White sparkle just has slightly larger particles. Although you could use this for other colors of luster, generally white sparkle or super pearl is what you're going to be using most of the time for ribbons, bows, drapes, cake surface, etc. When we use this product, the um, top of the pump brush just comes off and then to fill this you actually just unscrew this, okay? And then you're going to take your chosen pearl dust or white sparkle dust. I'm going to open this using the little, this is a little opener which is great for, as I said, opening the easy opener. And then we're going to take your, and then usually you're just going to use a small spoon like this and it's going to put the powder into here. You can just sort of take the whole container. So generally you're just going to just sort of fill this up. I'm just going to put some of this a little bit more into here. I'm just going to put the whole container into here. If you do this on some paper, then you can just obviously take the excess um, and then use that. I'm just going to clean this up. And then um, once we get this uh, filled, I'm going to take the top of this. And this just screws on carefully. So you're just going to have all your pearl dust, but literally you can fill this up to capacity. I would suggest if you're going to use uh, white sparkle and super pearl, just using a label maker. Just obviously do on the label maker, so you know that this one is super pearl. So you're just going to put this onto your uh, onto your pump brush. So in my classes, I have white sparkle ones and super pearl ones. Now, when we use the product, just going to shake this, you're just going to pump from the top, hence the name pump brush. You're just going to pump this down. Now, when we use the uh, pump brush, sometimes we use it with where it's fully open. So if you're going to be doing, for example, like a large surface area, like you're going to dust a cake or you're going to do like a drape or a bow or something large, you know, something like this ribbon here, is going to pump this until it starts to come out. Obviously, you just have to do this a few times and the pearl dust will start to come out onto here. So you see how you're just going to brush this onto the surface here. So this is going to give you this nice sort of pearlized sheen onto the product. And uh, so that's how we use that with, um, with the uh, it open. And here I have one. This one is obviously a full one, so this one is also being used several times. So it's sort of a little, as you can see, once you've used it a couple of times, the pearl dust comes out very, very easily. Okay? And then when you finish using this, you're going to put the cuff back on, and that is how you then put the lid back on. And you just put the lid back on here. And this works perfectly in the double or triple um, holder, just to use this to accommodate it. So in my school here in Atlanta, when I travel, I have usually white sparkle and super pearl on the students' tables for the different projects we do. Now also we can use this product. So in my Craftsy lettering class, I showed using this for stenciling. Now when we do stenciling, or if you're doing a small compact area, the best thing to do is you bring the cuff down and you lock the cuff in place. So you see how it means you have a very short bristle. So then you're going to take some paste here. So just take in here, I have just some white rolled fondant. So if for example, you are doing a you know, stenciled cake, you could do of course use color. You'd put the stencil on the top. And then when we do the stencil design, what we do is you're just going to pump this and you're going to use this with the actual, you see how the bristles are very short here. So what this means, you get a more concentrated um, pearlized effect. So this is really, really good because it just means the color is not going all over the place. So you see how you're going to go over the concentrated areas of the stencil. And then when you take the, the stencil off of here, so you can just use a pin or a wire, take the stencil off of your you see how then you're going to get the beautiful um, stencil technique here onto the paste. And you don't have a lot of excess dust to try and have to remove before you remove the stencil. So that is the pump brush, so very useful used with um, obviously more open for general for large areas or for concentrated areas with the cuff down.